there, and then um, hopefully I don't screw up the next part. So do you want to talk about the armor skip, like like the kind of movement and stuff is needed, or...? Yeah, so every one of these lasers do uh, 10 damage, and in the next room there are then mines, which, regardless of whether they hit you or not, or whether you have invincibility frames because you just got hit, they still do damage, unless you have the extra armor on, which is utterly ridiculous, so... Basically, if you don't get the extra armor, it is possible to go through this part, but... That mine right there. Yeah, you've got to despawn one of the mines. Well, you don't have to. You can also see there's going to be another part that he'll go through <laughs> soon where there's like, um, I think it's 12 lasers all aiming at you. And you can just, you can use the spark to take out the lasers. But the issue with spark is you can't mash it. It has a cooldown period. And it's also very inconsistent with input delay. And sometimes you'll use it and it won't actually take out the lasers. It'll just flash and do absolutely nothing. Yeah. Which is cool. Um... <laughs> But I think every single run I've done with... So this is the place right here. The that, that right there. Little corridor where you've got all that just flying at you. Um, every single run I've done, I've accidentally not despawned the mine or I've taken damage. And then I've just gone through that part without taking damage by complete accident. Uh, and that one pipe is the only thing in the game you're supposed to use the proton torpedo for. Uh, but we just use it in lieu of the mine because we can. And it saves going to an island that... Uh, it's... I don't know. It's long, and there's a boss fight at the end, and it, I don't know. We're going fast, we're skipping most of the content in the game, because it's a Metroidvania, and you can do that. Yeah. Alright, and then usually, like, when I'm doing, like, real 80% runs, this is the part of the game where I choke, because, like, I just finally did the stupid uh, extra armor skip, and then you have to do three, uh, three act jump activations of the priority glitch in a row, and some days I'll be playing and I'll get this like, you know, three out of four attempts. And then like the first time I did the armor skip, I think I lost like a minute and a half trying to do this stupid trick. So like Worcester is not a big fan of it and I, I don't blame him because like I don't I don't know what I do, I just kinda do it and it works. Yeah. And then shit, okay. Dang. As that block breaks, you're supposed to jump with the robot and then he keeps keeps falling. But I mistimed the jump. So then I had to jump a lot to make tails appear on screen. Ooh. Um, that was bad. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that. There we nice. Go. That was actually really clutch to save that. Yeah. Going through a two block <laughs> oh with goodness. tails is actually extremely difficult without doing like a sonic zip. And if he didn't get that before his flight meter ran out, that would have been a death. Because there was just nothing below him. Yeah. And then also at the end of the run, there's three more of those, which are faster than the old ride I was doing. Like I watched Worcester. And then I figured out what the hell you're actually supposed to do to zip through those, and then thanks for getting shot. <laughs> and then with the robot out, um, you can go through the left wall, so we just skipped a boss fight there. Um, usually the robot goes and kills, kills the boss by dropping a rock on his head, and then it hits the switch, which opens the door. But instead, uh, you pull out the robot while Tails can move, and then um, you can just fly through the door. So it's, it's kind of cool. But we're like we're sure has some other crazy setup that yeah. There's also another method. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but there's this method where if you hit one of the spikes and then during your invincibility frames you jump into one of the lasers that fall down, it thinks the boss died, but the door is still there. But if you grab the door from or you grab the ledge below the door, you kind of just clip upwards and it just thinks. You know, it loads the loading zone because it thinks the boss is dead and you're just finished with the level for whatever reason. I have no yeah. knowledge why it works. It's totally random. You'll do it sometimes and it'll work and other times it won't. Yeah. And then there was like 37 seconds of auto scroll or so. It was the perfect place to talk about stuff. Usually it's where I try and calm my nerves in an actual run. And then here I have 50 life and I want to leave this area with 30. And everything on this screen does 5 damage. Um, so I'm gonna play like stop and go below some of these shooter dudes, and then at a certain point I'm just gonna start taking damage because I know there's enough shooter dudes I've stopped in front of, and it's all good. So now at this point, I can just tank most of the rest of the hits. The only guy you want to get hit by is him because there's two ducks in a row. So if you get hit by the first guy, you can just hold up through the second one. And I do this because instead of having just, like you could just go straight up. Um, why did I let go of up? You can just hold straight up through here with 50 life and you'll end this screen with five life. But then you have to go back to Tails' house to heal, and um, I mean I haven't timed it, but my gut says that stopping in front of three things or a couple things for like half a second is a little bit faster than the seven seconds it takes to go back to Tails' house and heal. It's definitely faster because taking damage does cause a little bit of lag as well. <laughs> All right, 
and then here, I'm going to try and do the strat. I did steal from Worcester. I didn't get it. Okay, but whatever. So uh, you can, if you spin dash at the right uh, right spot, you'll actually zip through a uh, good punch, punch to the level. Uh, I, well, I saw you do it, so I mean, it's, I think it's your strat. No, I mean Sonic through there. I just kind of fly. I don't understand why. Like, I, I just learned that then. Oh, is Sonic, is that faster? Like, is flying faster? Like, no, it's not. That's why I'm asking, oh. why do I do that? Oh, yeah, no, I just, I spin dash, and then after, like, a second, I, I restart yeah, the spin dash. that's much better. And then this is the second um, of the, like, or, I don't know. It's the second part where I clip through these walls. I've got, like, a little bit, little bit of a visual cue. I kind of, like, go in this black zone, and then I go up, and then I don't know if it's because I've got a bad height, or because it's, like, a 50-50 shot, depending on where Tails is oscillating. You won't see it on stream because of it's not in 16 frames per second or whatever the hell this game runs at. But on my screen, like, Tails flickers back and forth between this wall and then the wall to the right. And it works because you're, like, you're in this spot, and then you're, like, pushed up against a solid wall, and then you push up, and then you kind of, like, just wedge your way into the, into the background, or the, into the nether space. And, because, like, the right wall is keeping you in place. And then it just ejects you upwards. So that's why I was able to like save that one thing is because I've been doing a lot of that <laughs> in my runs. Uh, this is the same boss fight from before that we were flying up against. Um, there's just so many places where you can throw bombs at them. I hit the C stick because I'm stupid, but that's okay. I hit it again by accident. And right, you then, only had one. You could have gone the quick kill there. Yeah, I, I don't. Where, where do you throw the last one for the quick kill? Oh, you can go on the top left and get him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never, I've never chased him for there. Yeah, you just throw and get hit. It saves a few seconds because right. while he's going through his attack pattern. He still goes through his attack pattern and refuses to stop exploding. Okay. Um, and then this is the final boss of the game. When this area loads, I actually move to the right a little bit because it resets my position. And this has been a bad first phase because nor like I used to just stand in the perfect spot where he wouldn't hurt you, and then I would try to jump. Oh wow! Bad luck. <laughs> I've been having bad luck against this guy every time. Dang. And so, then, oh wow. And it, and yeah. Anyways, so I try. I would try and jump, and the game would eat my jump input. Because you're flying when you come into this, like, what the f this boss, <laughs> this boss, man. It's completely random when he does those bomb attacks. If you, like, get good luck, he All never right. does one throughout. That's and... time. And... Oh, you do it whenever. Time. Yeah, time. Uh, 2037. Nice. Nice. Awesome. But anyways, like, it eats my jump input, and then the boss grabs me, and it always makes me sad. <laughs> anyway, so that was Tales Adventure. Uh, thank you for the commentary, we're oh, sure. No problem. Um... Yeah, that's, that's all I got. I think up next is going to be a very hype Mega Man X2 race with uh, <laughs> uh, Jimmy Countdown and um, Fat Homie. Fat Homie? I don't know. Is everyone ready? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Random trivia. They're in. I'm pretty confident that the Sea Fox debuted in Sonic Triple Trouble, right? Or it's, uh, it's in Triple Trouble. I think this game might have come first. Um, I don't know. I did. Th th this game. It was pretty late. This on the game, game here, includes actually. Fang, like is one of the items you can pick up, and he's a character. I thought That's it was true. first introduced in Triple Trouble. He probably was. So, yeah. Google. Yeah. Google. Yeah. Google. I have no idea. Sonic yeah, Cannon. Get those sorters on the ball. Let's go. I'm sure they know. Yeah. So this this is just the ending credits. Um, I mean, we got nothing else to do. Yeah. Uh, so Tails is building some sort of robot that looks eerily like him and then it's going to explode into space. And then the only reason you would want to watch this is because if you're doing a 100% run, at the very end of the credits, well, aside from like, you know, watching the credits and, you know, thank you developers for making such a buggy game, um, it gives you your completion percentage. So it's one of those things I, I have to watch it to make sure that I did indeed collect 100%. Um, this route, I think, picked up 40 item, 40% uh, of the items, and a normal any percent route would be 37. Yeah, I think it's 37. Yeah. You can actually skip one of the Chaos Emeralds as well, and just go the yeah. crazy Lake Rocky on one health. Um, or you could pick up uh, just the Chaos Emerald the game forces you to, and the you could do the armor skip with yeah. Sonic. But it's really... Because like the, the items you need to beat the game are the Proton Torpedo, and then um, the Robot. The Robot, And yeah. I think those are the only two required items, I mean, assuming with crazy ass task strats, and then either the Spark or the... Uh, or the extra armor. Extra yeah. armor. And then, um, so yeah, like, they're like a theoretical low percent could be fun, yeah, but it'd also be like the most painstaking thing in the world to try yeah, and grind out. It would. All right, so you guys ready yeah. to start switching over? Yep. All right, cool. So uh, like, follow, like, follow, and subscribe Tales Adventure, not me. <laughs> so, Tales Adventure's hype. Reckless hype.
just, like, just leave it when I stop playing. Alright, then. Oh, yes. That would be me. Yes. Where's Rom Scoot? Yeah, we need Rom Scout in here. The Rom Scoot. Oh, he's at breakfast. Oh, yeah. That's Let the man eat in peace. So. One more time? Everything is live and set, right? Make sure that I don't just select, you know, select now or start an arm. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time. Wait, so countdown, are you doing like a blind race essentially? No, I'm just telling him to like make sure that I don't activate this game save or otherwise this game will just poop out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I, not I learned this game for like three weeks, about a month ago. And uh, when, when X2 started getting real big in the race community, and uh, I managed to get a 42, and then I just stopped playing. <laughs> So I spent about six hours the night resting. Trying to. I don't trust that. <coughs> I'll fix that. Just Ginny can farm me for SRL points. <laughs> oh well, Fat Homie and I both did the same thing. All right, I'll. I'm in going. I'll go to the password. I'll go to the password menu. That's me. You should hover over different option menu items. Yeah. Like A, B, Z. Yeah. The big plays. Yeah. Like, I, I'm only here because Ginny promised me that I'm going to see some big plays here. <laughs> we'll see, man. We'll see. And uh, maybe, it will, like, if it's just Ginny, that'd be cool. But if I could see some, some of you guys make some uh, equally big plays. Yo, we're going to try. Dude. All right. We're that sounds try. good. That I sounds good. Especially now that you're here, man. Hype man, I glare. Hell yeah. 69, 420. Actually, yeah, I, got, I could show off my shirt on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's a, uh, I don't know if it's had a good close up. <laughs> Bonus How does that look? Who cares? <laughs> Swag. Got the foot flexing my uh, giant muscles. <laughs> they are bulging out of your shirt. I can actually lift a uh, full carton of milk with these arms. Shout out to Trey Cog, the only viewer in left in the uh, left in the stadium here. All right, I'm on the password screen that says 42. All right, I've got it. Yes, yep. and Fat Homie's on the, uh... Fat Homie? It's Fat Homie, but... Yeah. Fat Homie, dude. Uh, fat, yeah, fat he's Fat Homie, dude. It's just what people You're call You're like me. the skinniest guy here, though. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, I just want to make a quick shout-out to Yoshi is Cool. Yoshi is Cool is the man, dude. He taught me everything about this game, man. He, taught he me had a killer low percent run until, uh, Mr. Darko Mega Magic. Uh, bopped it free a few weeks ago. Shout outs to Darko. Killer, uh, killer X2 low percent runner. And also, of course, shout outs to PJW. Why is it in Japanese? Because moon speed. Oh, okay. Because moon speed. <laughs> Where are these moons? Streamer. Why are, streamer, why are you playing in Chinese? I'm attached to this race. I'm is very, this I'm very I attached to this race. Is this only IQ? Yeah, yes. um, yeah, yeah, Jenny's, yeah. Jenny's playing, or sorry, Fat Homie's playing on the IQ. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the IQ, right? Home, yep. home IQ advantage. He's like two minutes ahead already. Yeah. Dude, thanks. So is that like the, the buy to win record sort of deal? Yeah, yeah exactly. You can bot BJW free if you buy an IQ. <laughs> Password read error. I should map out which of the cheapest obscure consoles have all the popular games. <laughs> try, to, I try to figure out the cheapest way to get all the, the records. <laughs> Nigleria getting all the free world records. Oh yeah. Testing. Alright. Are you guys ready to go? I'll give you a count. Oh hang on, I gotta reset. Alright. Yeah, hang on. Alright. 
Yeah, let me just make sure my op my uh, control scheme is still okay. All right, Y B A L R start. We're good. <laughs> Precisely. Okay, everybody, title screen. All right, everyone set. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Fat homie has like a four frame advantage right now. <laughs> dude, I don't know. This music sounds pretty synced up. Uh, rip and peace, Green Biker dude. Never forget. BJW just actually got a sub icon. That's Green Biker dude. So shout outs to copyright infringement. <laughs> oh yes, nobody got locked out. Oh. <laughs> Wait, now if he loses that sub icon, can we all blame you for that? Yes. Precisely. <laughs> you can form an angry mob. You can find me at twitch.tv slash use pizza. And while we're at it, you should all go to f0central.org. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've crashed it tw at least twice already, so f-z-e-r-o-c-e-n-t-r-a-l. That there big plays, dude. I spelled it right this time. The bad plays. Oh! <laughs> I know I got a plasma shot in there somewhere. I didn't get the fully charged shot. Yeah, that's what I mean. I got a, I definitely got a plasma in there so somewhere. So that, that's basically what it's going to happen to F-Zero when you go in there. Basically. I dig this triple audio. You guys have to ha end it like the Superman. Movie. Oh my yeah. god. We'll like, see. like one dies and just rage quits. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're there's only three th there's only three now, so it's just Krau Krauser Ivan Zost. Yeah. Who is he? <laughs> well, Streamer, which one of you is Zost? I'm Garrison, question mark. I'm Garrison question mark. <laughs> uh, well, too really soon too soon, Jenny, too soon. Uh, I didn't get the pixel. Shout outs to BJW for not getting the pixel. <laughs> Suck away. Oh, first try sub tank jump. Get wrecked, BJW. <laughs> <laughs> that big play. Yeah, you wanted big plays, Nagleria. There you go. These are acceptable plays. So for me, I am throwing this away. Same. I'm literally rock rolling with the frogs. Gotta shoot them bananas in midair, dude. Yeah, definitely gonna shoot the bananas in midair. Banana peels. Anybody going for the stair jumps? Or ladder jumps, I mean? No, I tried once. Doesn't matter. Ooh. That clean door. Alright. So, yeah, 11 All shots, right. boys. 11 Let's shots. Let's see who RNG likes and hates. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to BadDragon.com for sponsoring Wirespun. Ref <laughs> <laughs> me. Six, seven, eight. Oh, that's where all the big nine, plays come out, dude. Ten, the Wheel Gator fight? That's what separates the boys from them. Are you kidding me, dude? Come on, dude. Go, 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 go. Come on, go, 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 go. Stop spinning. Stop spinning, please stop jumping. There we go. I hate you. Oh, well, I missed the dash shot. No rain dance, baby. You. Fat homie takes the lead though. Barely. Did you get no rain dance? No rain dance. He was hopping around though. Yeah, he gave me about three hops before he finally went up. So in this fight, um, generally what you want to do is you get him down to about 10 HP, uh, 10 or 11 HP. I forget which. And, uh, I'm just setting up, man. I'm just setting up. <laughs> right, right before, right before, right, or right after that, um, if you shoot him below 10 HP, he will get mad and uh, shoot lightning everywhere, and that wastes about five, six seconds. And he's invulnerable. Exactly. Very not cool. My stage selection put me in sync with Fat Homie. Shout out to stage selection. Sick. I'm down. Oh, 
come on. These TVs have some mad stutter. Alright. Shout out to the second try, arm capsule. Shout out to the first try. Shout out to Bop It Free. <laughs> I, called, I called it though, second try arm capsule. I said I was gonna do it like hours ago. Well, now you're tied with Jimmy. I heard that. All right, so in the middle, in the middle of this uh, little cutscene here, as X is doing the demo of the charge shot, uh, you can jump, um, and that saves frames, I guess like 30 at most, by jumping down that, jumping down that little shaft that you came up from. Dude, dirty frames is half a second. That's yeah. Like, dude, save second. frames, lose seconds, though. That's big, that's big stuff. Second. Save oh. frames, lose seconds, like originated with X2. Yeah, you're right about that. That was the Metroid race. <laughs> oh, big shout outs to uh, HashDQ3, uh, Dragon Quest 3. Nobody in that channel except me and Sesh run Dragon Quest 3, but. Um, yeah, DQ3 for SGDQ, I feel it. Me and Sesh are going to race it. Sesh is a Denver native and a really cool guy. You should follow him twitch.tv slash IHRPI. As long as DQ3 race to close out. <laughs> How long is DQ3? Uh, like four hours, if you suck, like we do. So, you, you want to, like, like, a long, boring RPG? It ain't no boring, no, there, that, that, that race, or that run is full of big plays, dude. There's no, this there's is the big place, though, this is the big place. There's what? nothing of a, oh yeah. Watch me, watch me lose the lead. Dude, I don't even have a charge chain going, you guys are already a step ahead of me. <laughs> Low percent strats, baby, let's get it, Oh. There we go. <laughs> Rip. This is this is when Jenny takes the lead. Yeah, right. Well, hey man, let's not speak too soon now. Ah, uh, come on. So you have a three-frame window uh, to hit him with strike chain before he goes underneath, and you can keep hitting him. You can chain him to death. Basically, you gotta feed this guy. Yeah. Bob it free, dude. Bob it fucking Wow, free. dude. You guys wrapped I'm sorry about that. All right, and so these two pull in the lead because I'm a scrub. This is, this Bob is it effing really free. You know, casuals. Now, just, they, uh, don't say just to specify, this game does run at 60 frames per second, right? Yeah, so three frames is nothing. So none of that, like, 20 frames per second and 64 garbage? Yeah. Yeah. No. So when you actually say, like, frame perfect stuff, it's like, it ain't no bitch frame. Yeah, no, no I'm yeah. speaking of bitch, I'm going buster because I can't chain this guy, apparently. That's how I went. You just did Buster? Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Sick. I got the, the dash right. chain. Well, there's still like, I don't know, 45 minutes left of this race, <laughs> so we'll see. Not everyone can do man strats. Oh my not, goodness. Not everybody is speaking, the sweet of speed, speaking dude. Of, not everybody. Come on, don't be the Garrison. Whoa, oh. hey now, hey now, too soon, too soon. Shout outs to Garrison, I love you, dude. Hey, Garrison will pass too, but you just got that Yeah. You're right, man. Garrison is an extremely talented Super Metroid runner. We are not. I mean, I think it was Ivan who was like sitting at 20 health. He bopped it, Fader. He just bopped Ivan it. Ivan was sitting at 20 health. He actually had a really clutch... Uh, the Kai Hunter. Yeah, yeah the, the Kai Hunter in, um, in the, uh, what are they, the three musketeers? The third musketeer almost bopped it free, and then he got under him. So shout-outs to Ivan for clutchness. Shout you saw that clutchness? That was pretty clutch. Slow down. Yeah, slow down, grab the wall, and just collective. Hey, let's let's watch that weapon cutscene play because why not? <laughs> let's crash the bike. Yeah. Shout outs to crashing the bike. Oh fuck! Oh. I crashed it. Oh, Jenny. It's all right. Jenny's gonna miss the elevator skip. <laughs> Taught us all how to do it, Dead. and then he's gonna miss it. <laughs> Barely. Now, the big play starts when you get all the sweet abilities. So, with the air dash, you can do some pretty neat stuff. In yeah. the air. And, and, and double dash in the air. Shout out to double dash? No. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. And double dash. Console Mario Kart. Yeah. 
Oh, come oh. on. Give me that. There we go. There we go. All right. I, I'm, I guess I was the only person that didn't die, huh? Grabs all the skip. Patty skip. Patty skip. Shout out to Ivan again. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Ivan. I wish you the best. I hope you're watching this right now. And no, he went, he went to bed like two hours ago. I was in Mumble with, with uh, those nerds. And uh, he's like, no, I'm sorry. I really can't subject myself to that. I like that. I like that. He did the Jesus enough times. <sighs> All right, I'm not too bad. I'm not too far off. That, that me not dying on that heart tank actually caught me up like five or six seconds. Just like a whole boss fight behind Fat Honey. And Aglaria, this guy has the best name, one of the best names in this Bubbly, game. Bubbly Crablos? You spoiled it. Wow, this guy. <laughs> ruining everything. Well, it would have been good, but uh, Countdown, kind of a shit lord. <laughs> kind of. Just a little bit. Like, ever since he stopped running clock, he's just... I didn't him. stop, dude. I bought Mecha free. I hope you know that. <laughs> Shout out to my 3106. Yes. Just brush my shoulders off on that one. <laughs> Let me. Oh. Shoutouts to Neon Jumps. I missed that. Oh my god. Shoutouts to Clipping, clipping the, the Elevator. Clipping the Elevator. Those things have another much more vulgar name that we will not use. I, I, grab, I grab them a lot. I like to grab them. As you'll see in the elevator skip, I like to grab them. They're my favorite. Shout out to killing the fish with one shot. Well done. Way ahead of you. <clears throat> oh my god, I pulled a fat homie. What? <laughs> no, I pulled two fat homies. I'm right here. And Stop three. pulling me. <laughs> now, you're, now, you're just... now you're just dissing the homie, dude. That ain't cool, dude. That's not big place. Four you times. Dissed the homie. Four times on this jump. I swear I've played this game before. I have oh, something yeah. to say. Yeah. Blit, yeah. Patty Blit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's forget that strike chain ever happened. Can't forget. No, come the hell on, dude. Bopped. X should just say bopped every time he wins. So when you, um, like Ginny was saying, the big plays start after you get the, uh, the arm upgrade. And uh, we'll see in more from off stage. Yeah. So that. when you when you dash in the air and you uh, you do the big plays. Yeah, you do you do the big plays, and the game allows you to jump again because they're like, damn, those plays are so huge. <laughs> Another shout out to not holding start. You not holding start? Nope. Sick. My fave. Losing seconds. Saving frames, losing seconds. Speedrunner's motto. Shoutouts to letting go of your charged gravity, or charged uh, gator wheel. Charge gravity. Wow, there's a wheel on screen already. Please die. Oh wow. Monkey, flying squirrels are like the best, it's worst enemy in the game. 
They just don't want to be. 